Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see the function which is known as VLOOKUP in Microsoft Excel. Now this VLOOKUP function is considered very important and the reason behind it is that it is used to easy our task. Now this VLOOKUP function is used mainly whenever we want to search any kind of a data in our table. So as the name suggests, VLOOKUP is uh, composed of first letter is V, which means vertical and lookup is to look up or search for a value in a table. So this VLOOKUP function uh, helps us to search for any kind of a value in a vertical table. Now there is another counterpart of this VLOOKUP function and that function is known as the HLOOKUP function which we will see in the next video. So in this video we will be focusing only on VLOOKUP. We will see that uh, uh, what are the various parameters of the VLOOKUP function, how can we use it, uh, what are its various usages and why it is very important. So the first question is why it is very important. So for that, I have a table uh, with me over here. Now this table has four columns that is name, days worked, cost per day and total. So uh, it total has a um, uh, collection of six records or six names. And we have data like how many days these six people worked and their cost of working each day is different. So on the basis of the number of days worked and the cost, we have got the total. Now this is a simple uh, table that is available to us and suppose we want to find any kind of a record in this table. Suppose we want to find that um, what is the total amount that we need to pay to a person named as Roger. So a general approach of our searching would be like we would uh, enter into this table and since we already know the name is Roger. So we first go to this name column and then we will search for that particular name. So uh, in the first uh, row, the name is Sam, which is not Roger. So we will just neglect this data. In the second one, it is Roger. So uh, we will take up this data. This means we are moving vertically. After that, we will find the corresponding column, which gives us the resultant information. And this column uh, that we are looking for is the total cost or the total amount we need to pay to Roger. So then we will move horizontally and will reach to this total column, which is $960. So this is a general approach of searching for any kind of a value in a record. Now this is exactly what the VLOOKUP function does. It just uh, searches for a particular value in the given table. And out of that particular value, what does it does is that uh, it finds out the corresponding uh, value of the particular column. Now here I have taken an example that I have just cited that Roger is the person whose uh, salary or the total amount we need to search and its total amount we have kept as $960. Now this has already been uh, stored over here but what if we want to search for another person say Tom. So for Tom we need to find out that what amount do we have to pay to Tom. So for that what do we need to do is first um, just go into this names column and search for the storm value and when we get this storm we have to search for its salary which is $800 but it is very easy to search over here because the table is very small it has only four columns and some six rows however when you are working with a database there are tons of data available to you there are multiple columns hundreds of columns and thousands of rows so in that particular case you cannot follow this kind of a approach so that is the reason why we have got these lookup functions to uh, easy our task. So the first lookup function that uh, is uh, used over here is the VLOOKUP function. And um, we can easily find out the salary that we need to pay to Tom using the VLOOKUP function. So for that, uh, I have kept this cell and I'm going to just start typing. Just put an equal sign. Type in VLOOKUP. Then as you can see that it asks for four values. First of all is the lookup value. Now what is this lookup value? This lookup value tells um, the parameter that what value it needs to look for. In our case, what value do we need to look for is Tom. 
that is uh, the name of the person so uh, since this term is present in this particular cell so we are going to select this cell that from here you will get this lookup value then put a comma to move to the next parameter which is a table array now we need to uh, tell to the excel that what table array it does have to keep in consideration while searching for that value or in which table it has to search for the term value so the table over here is this table so we are just going to select this whole table that is from d4 till g10 then put a comma then it asks for a column index number now this column index number is the index number of the column of which we want to find our value since over here we need to find out the whole salary so uh, this is present in the totals column now this totals column if we just count from the left hand side is the first second third and the fourth column so this uh, four is going to be uh, entered over here then put a comma and then there is an option of true or false which is range lookup uh, which has two values true for approximate match and false for exact match at this time i'm just going for an exact match so that is why i'm keeping a zero and then closing the parenthesis its functionality we are going to learn up very soon or uh, now all you have to do is this only and then press enter now as soon as you press enter you can see that you have got $800 as the answer and this is exactly the answer that we want now tom as you can just cross check from the table receives a salary of 800 but what if we just uh, change some of the values over here for example instead of tom we want to find out robot's salary so we just put here robot and as soon as we press enter then you can see that $1200 is what we have got and um, that is exactly the salary of robot so uh, this is what the vlookup function does it eases your efforts now the reason we have chosen exact match was the exact match or the zero parameter that we provided for the range lookup values what does it does it uh, searches for the exact value like uh, uh, robot it searches if robot is present then only it gives the result what if we just type some name which is not present in this table suppose we type in josh and press enter then it gives an error this means that it has not found the value josh and that is why it cannot display any result and that is the usage of the exact match function now the approximate match what does it does it looks for an approximate value and uh, it cannot be used over the textual data and only over the numerical data so if we just want to look up at a single uh, or a simple definition of exact match and approximate match then we can simply understand it with the example of ranges suppose some of the data is present uh, which has uh, the values like if any data is more than 10 then you need to follow these steps if it is less than 20 then you need to follow these steps it is between 10 and 20 then some other steps needs to be followed so in that case uh, whenever the range of a data is given to you then the approximate match can be used which is used to find out the approximate value out of the uh, total lookup value that is given to us so we are going to understand what is the usage of approximate match and how it can be used very easily to uh, find out the approximate values now to clearly understand about the difference between the exact match and approximate match what i have done is just deleted the first column of our table that was the names column and now we have days worked cost per day and total now here i have kept seven which is the exact value that is present uh, in our table so for that we have got the total cost as 700 which is exactly what we wanted now the another number that we have got over here is 4 now this 4 is not present in the days worked column in our table and that is why the value we have got for it is 330 now the reason why we have got this value is cause the value 3 is present over here uh, and this value 3 has got the corresponding value of 330 dollars that is why 4 has also got a value of 330 dollars and if you take a look at its formula then we have kept the last argument as one which means we have kept the approximate match now what if for this 4 we keep an exact match uh, instead of uh, the approximate match so we have this exact match uh, function over here and here if we just change its uh, number to a 4 
then you can see that we have got the error of value not available so that is all in today's video i hope you all have enjoyed it thanks for watching